Hello, Henry from Belgium here. Today, I show you my latest find. It is LEGO Set 4011, Cabin Cruiser, from 1991. And after building it, I will launch the boat. So keep watching the video. The set has the theme group, Modern Day. And as sub-theme, Boats. It contains 90 parts and two minifigs. The box looks good at first glance, but I do see some damage. And also the original price label is still attached, 650 Belgian francs. That is about 16 euro. Here is a tear in the corner. I see that the box has been opened on both sides. Here the label has disappeared. There is also some damage on this side by pulling off the label. But I see that it's still attached. So I can possibly fix that with glue. Beautiful images of alternative builds on the back. When it comes to a boat theme, the designers always provide high-quality photos with water features, what's nice. I see that the parts are all mixed up. So I won't know until later if the set is complete. The inlay is present and so is the manual. Good thing it hasn't been folded. There is a line in the middle here, and for some reason some people find it necessary to fold it. So good, it didn't happen. The manual looks good considering its age. Colorful and clear instructions. A crease here and there, but no tears or damage. An important part, the hull of the boat. It still looks nice and shiny white, no discoloration. But the person who has put these stickers on, clearly did a poor job. They had to be glued a bit more forward. I'm going to change that because it looks horrible. Over the years, some dirt has accumulated on those ends. I can't get it completely clean, but it still looks better than before. Now the minifigs. This one is described as a boat worker. It has a torso I've never seen before. Completely white with only an anchor on it. It's unique and only appears in this set. The second one seems to look quite classic but is also unique and it only appears in this set. That's due to the combination of the torso with blue lines, blue cap, and the life jacket. So two unique minifigs, cool. And last, but not least, a shark. This is the eye-catcher of the set, and in the 90s it mainly appeared in the pirate's theme. Let's build the set. As always, first some bricks in the hull of the ship. Also a brick with weight in it. The condition of the bricks is really okay. I have the impression that it has not been played with much. I also like the color palette. Lots of white, but with well-chosen accents in red, yellow, and blue. I personally find the blue table a bit empty. I think a coffee maker or in the worst case just a cup to drink something would have been a nice extra. What I also miss is a grey stone with electronics on it. Navigation equipment, a computer, or a phone for example. Okay, it's 1991, but I've seen such bricks in firefighter sets from that period. The fishing line with rope and winch is a well-chosen part and completes the set. After half an hour of building, 
I have this beautiful result. This is now the fourth boat in my collection, and I think it would be a good idea to take it out for a spin. In a previous video, you could see that my Playmobil motor does not fit on a Lego boat. But I have found a solution. The edges here from above are in the way, and since this is plastic, you can cut it away with a simple kitchen knife. The result doesn't look very nice, but it works. The motor has lots of power and you do this better in a large swimming pool or pond. But I wanted to test it out with motor to see the effect and it works fine. In a bathtub or like here, it's best to use no motor. Nice that I now also see that these Lego boats can actually sail a real added value. This set definitely deserves a place in my collection. Nice theme, colorful and nice compact design. And of course also because of the two unique minifigs and the shark. Feel free to write down your comments under this video. You can also like and subscribe. It's free. Thanks for watching and until the next video.